हे हाय एंड वेलकम बैक इन प्रीवियस वीडियो यू सॉ वॉट ब्लॉक इज फिजिकली प्रेजेंट एट वॉट लोकेशन ऑन दी पी सी बी ओके एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू वॉक यू थ्रू ऑल दोज ब्लॉक्स वन बाय वन एंड आई विल गिव यू अ ब्रीफ इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट दोज ब्लॉक्स ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट विद दिस वीडियो नाउ so now let me tell you what you will learn in this video you will learn the placements of different blocks on the pcb like what block is present at what location on the pcb after that the next point is components present in different blocks so you will understand what type of components are present at what block on the pcb okay so these are the things that you will learn in this video now let's start with this video All right now let me walk you through the different blocks which are present on this hardware so i will start from the power supply block so this is basically this block is basically a power supply block okay and you already know the uh, purpose of this block this block is responsible for converting the 12 volt input to 5 volt okay and then that 5 volt will be provided to the rest of the blocks present on this hardware and this is basically a dc a uh, dc female jack and here we actually provide a 12 volt input okay and uh, i'm going to use an external power source of 12 volt uh, i'm actually going to use a lab bench power supply so we will we will provide the 12 volt input to this uh, hardware and then uh, with the help of this power supply block uh, this hardware will actually generate the 5 volt on the output side and this is the main ic which is 7805 ic and this is actually very popular ic whenever we have to convert 12 volt uh, input to 5 volt generally people use this particular ic okay so when we will discuss this power supply block at that time i will discuss every single thing in detail regarding the designing of this particular block okay like why this capacitor is connected on the input side what's the purpose of this output capacitor then uh, what are the different specifications of this particular ic then what's the purpose of this short key diode that we have connected here so every single thing we will discuss in detail in this particular block okay so you will understand every single thing regarding uh, this particular block and you will understand all the theory behind it okay so that was all about the power supply block and uh, uh, this is basically the uh, power led which is also the part of power supply block so whenever we will provide the 12 volt input to this uh, dc female jack this particular led will actually switched on and beside this led if you see there is one resistor so we need to connect an appropriate value of resistor uh, for this particular led in order to get switched on or in order to switch on with a uh, right intensity okay so again in this block i will discuss how to calculate the value of this particular resistor in order to uh, switch on this led so that was all about the power supply block after that the next block is controller block so this is basically the controller block okay and in this controller block if you see this is the main ic which is at mega 328p and this ic actually sits on arduino uno board okay so this is the same ic and i told you that we can actually use this entire board as a arduino uno board and we can program this board as a arduino uno so all the code that you can program on the arduino uno board all those programs you can actually program in this particular controller okay so this is actually a kind of customized arduino uno board now again we will discuss in this particular block like why these many capacitors are connected here what's the purpose or significance of connecting these many capacitors around this ic then um, how this value of crystal came then how to select the value of these capacitors uh, which are actually load capacitors which are uh, connected to this crystal so we will discuss every single thing regarding the different components which are connected around this ic okay so we will discuss the circuitry we will discuss all the theoretical uh, you know uh, information which is required to design this atmega 328p ic based uh, circuitry okay after that the next block that you can see here is this is programmer slash debug block okay and i told you that this is nothing but just the headers so these are actually called as mail headers and using these headers we are actually going to dump a code in this controller 
so here to this header an, an external programmer will be connected and using that programmer we are actually going to program this controller okay in the same way for example if you have to send some data from this controller uh, to the external world which is uh, on the pc if you want to see that data uh, then you can send that data over the pins of this controller which are actually connected to this uh, debug slash program header and through that programmer you will be able to see that data on the computer okay so you will actually get more clarity about it when i will show you the practical demonstration okay so at this moment you you don't need to bother about uh, these all things you, you just remember what's the purpose of these all things uh, which are present on this hardware after that this is the potentiometer which we have already discussed and uh, you already know how uh, this particular potentiometer works so by rotating this particular knob we are actually going to provide the analog input to this uh, controller and based on the readings uh, on the analog pin of this ic uh, we can actually take certain action uh, we can uh, switch on the motor or we can switch switch on the led or uh, we can also display a certain number on this seven segment display so that's all about the potentiometer block after that the next block is user input switch block so this is basically the user input switch block and using this block we are actually going to provide a digital input to this uh, controller okay and again based on that digital input logic 0 or logic 1 based on that we can actually take certain action okay after that this is basically the reset block of this controller which means that for example if you have to reset the controller let's say a controller is executing some code and you want uh, that code to execute from the starting then just by pressing this switch this controller will actually get reset okay and it will start executing that particular code from the starting so again i will discuss in this blog uh, how to design this reset circuitry in order to reset this controller okay so we will discuss every single thing in detail regarding all the blocks which are actually present on this hardware after that this block that you see this entire block is actually a seven segment display block okay and this is very popular i see cd4511be uh, which is actually binary to bcd decoder uh, which is used to display uh, a particular character uh, sorry a particular number on this seven segment display okay so again i will discuss in detail in this particular block like how to design this circuitry for this seven segment display okay using this particular ic so we will discuss every single thing in detail after that the next block is this motor driver block so you can see uh, in this motor driver block there are actually two connectors and these two connectors are actually for connecting the motors okay so you can connect two motors here and with the help of this uh, motor driver ic we can actually rotate uh, those motors in clockwise or anti clockwise direction okay and you can see here uh, there are some tracks uh, which are actually going towards this motor driver ic Uh, these are actually the control tracks of this ic and by, by sending the appropriate signal on these tracks we can actually control the motor in the appropriate direction okay so again we will discuss every single thing regarding the circuit design of this motor driver block and you will get everything regarding this particular block in this section okay so i walked you through the different blocks which are present on this hardware and i am sure now you have the absolute clarity about uh, the different blocks which are present uh, on this hardware and the different components which are present on this hardware okay and rest of the things we will discuss in their respective topics okay all right so that's what i wanted to tell in this video i hope that you enjoyed this video now next part is about the module test okay so in this test uh, there will be certain questions based on the things that you learned in this particular module and you have to answer those questions okay so all the best for the module test